So a lot of you out there are probably on Plenty of Fish. And I don't know how many of you tried to delete your account on Plenty of Fish, but it's not exactly an easy task to do. They make it really hard to do. I emailed the administrator and said, hey, I would like to terminate my account with you. I got an email back this morning because I sent it out on Saturday and didn't hear anything back until today stating that, well, we don't allow terminations of profiles. We only allow you to hide your profile because you may want to come back and we'd hate to have to have you make another account and put more pictures on blah, 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 was a was a bing bing. Well, I couldn't accept that. I wanted my account off of there because of frig sakes, like I went on two dates, with two separate plenty of fish girls and it was the same damn thing both times. You know, they look nothing like their picture, and once they get to know you a little bit, they become all needy and see what they can friggin' get out of you, like monies, or, you know, like the one girl, she's sitting there, and like we're having coffee, and she's like, oh, I don't know what I'm gonna do, and I'm like, what do you mean? She's like, well, I got like a, a, a notice from Hydro saying that if I don't pay them by like this, like two days from now, they're gonna shut down my, my Hydro. And uh, my house will explode if that happens, because I need my hydro to heat my house, and so I don't know what I'm going to do. And I'm like, oh, well, that, that sucks. And then she just looks at me like, met this girl an hour and a half prior, and she looks at me and goes, can I borrow $350? And right there, like, fucking red alert, red alert, shields up, and I'm like, are, are you serious right now? And she's like, uh, maybe? And I'm like, yeah, no, no. No. Bye bye Thanks for coming out. GG. Fuck off with yourself. And the second one was pretty much the same way. Like, she started... We got talking and stuff. And then she's like, I just need to know, um, are you against people who do... Who smoke marijuana? And I'm like, well, no. I use it for medicinal purposes to help me sleep at night. And uh, she's like, oh, you do? Oh, what's medicinals? And I explained it all to her how... Basically, I'm medically allowed to use one gram of marijuana a day to alleviate my anxiety slash insomnia, blah, blah, blah. And she goes, so, so do you have any to sell? Can I, can I have some? And right there, it's like fucking red alert, run, fuck, run. Because, like, if you just meet this girl and she's already begging for shit, you know later on down the road she's going to be nothing but a gold digging goof. So, fuck of that. So yeah, I decided I wanted to pull my Plenty of Fish account, and it wasn't really a task that was simple to do. It was not. So then I just hopped on Google, right? And I typed in, how to delete a Plenty of Fish account. Couldn't find anything. So then I went, okay, all right. Plenty of Fish Terms of Service brought that up, started reading through it. And then I came across the uh, one thing that worked awesome. It states right on it that if your account contains any pornographic or sexually explicit materials, your account will be terminated. So I hop on Google and type in like freaking, uh, well, I typed in anal <laughs> and uh, got a whole bunch of pictures of the same girl getting plowed in the arse and uh, basically threw them up and I made the Facebook profile page some freaking male porno star who looked all chiseled. So they, they saw that and they go in there and it's just some chick getting right reamed in the cornhole, right? And so I, it only took me 10 minutes and my profile was taken off of Plenty of Freaks. Thank fucking God. Because out of all the girls, those were the only two that I actually went out with because they looked somewhat decent in their picture and turned out to be born again train wrecks. The other ones were like, Jesus, like... 72 children looking for baby daddy apply within you know and it's like no 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 like I understand I'm at the age now we're finding a, a single lady with no kids is near impossible but when they have their job or their profession displayed as a uh, stay-at-home mom and they're single that means they're dipping into either the fare of the well or possibly unemployment most likely the fare of the well, and it's like, no, nah, not getting into that kind of nonsense bullshit. Forget it. Did it once, it was bad, never again. So, basically, that's how you delete your Plenty of Fish account. You just gotta put some pornographic shit on your profile, somebody will find it, somebody will flag it, and the admins will pull it, and life will be good. Right on! Well, I think for supper tonight I'm going to do that tilapia because I got it in the freezer. 
I'm gonna bake some tilapia. We're gonna have some rice and veg. It'll be awesome. While we're doing that, I was just watching a video by Regular Car Reviews, and literally what this guy does is he talks about old cars that are still floating around in the used market, and basically, you know, talks about them and shit. Well, this one here was the Subaru SVX, and it had features that I don't understand why cars don't have today. Let's get this fish and shit going, and, uh, yeah. Alrighty, we'll get back to the car thing in a minute, but I just got my fish ready. They're just little fillets, so I'm gonna make two. They're really thin also, so that's probably why they only take, like, 12 minutes to cook. Basically, I took some butter, melted it down, drizzled it on top, put some herbs and spices, makes everything nices because apparently tilapia is the kind of fish that absorbs the flavor that you marinated in. I didn't really marinate this, but uh, I coated it, so go team me. Just waiting for the uh, convectional to go off. We'll chuck her in there. While that's happening, I'm going to get the veg and rice ready. Alrighty, everything's cooking in the respectable cooking de device bonus, but uh, watching that review of the car, he said uh, it's got two modes. Oh, it's got different modes. It's got normal mode, sport mode, and winter mode. And I was like, oh, what is winter mode? And right away, he just jumps in and he goes, winter mode's a special kind of mode. It changes the shifting points, it alters your windshield wipers, and it changes just the dynamics of the car to compensate for the shitty roads. What got me was the wiper thing. Remember how I mentioned, wouldn't it be a good idea to lift the wipers a little bit off the window when you shut the car off and remove the key? You know, it could benefit so many things, like a lot of people who don't drive often, who don't live up here, for instance, but live in an area where there's a lot of blowing sand and such. Well, if you don't drive your car often, there's blowing sand, or it's raining like crazy, you get a lot of sand and buildup on that wiper. And if you don't clean that, and you're gonna turn on your wiper one day, you could scratch the living shit out of the surface of your window. Not saying it will happen, but it could probably happen. You know, glass is only so strong. What this here uh, Subaru does is something a little different, and it's something smart. When you put it in winter mode, it basically, when you take off from a, a stop, it starts you in second gear. So your car doesn't have so much torque off the line, and it won't just pull right through and slip and slide and spin the tires. The other thing it does is, this is the part that I like, the, the wipers. Normally it parks the wipers down below, like mine does, like really against the bottom of the window. The problem with that in the winter is the defrost is not targeting that area. It's targeting about an inch, inch and a half higher than that when it hits the window. And you can usually tell, like if you have a frosted over window and then you turn on your defroster and you watch, you'll see like the center down below by the froster start to thaw, but it takes forever for the heat to transfer down to the bottom of the window, but it spreads up really easy. Well, what they did was they have the wipers, instead of resting on the bottom, it rests two inches higher on the window. So, yeah, it's a little bit in your visual range, but you don't really care. And the bonus to that is, is now all the heat from the rear defro or from the window defroster is smashing into the glass, and on the other side is your wiper, causing any ice and snow buildup on that wiper to melt. Solving the problem of, frig sakes, I ruined my wipers because I left them down and it snowed last night and froze. Cars should have that feature. Like, it should be something you can just turn on. And even if you don't need it in your area, up in the north here, we can benefit from it big times. You know, maybe we wouldn't go through so many wipers in a year. And with the price of wipers nowadays, that's ridiculous. For a piece of coat hanger and a friggin' used rubber condom strapped to a damn stick and stuck on your window to push rain around, for freak's sakes, you know? It's kind of, kind of ridiculous. It's kind of stupid. They want like 30 bucks for a fucking wiper. That's a little bit too much money for a wiper. But I personally think it's a great feature, and I question now because when we took out the Cadillac CTS before I, before I bought the G6, it had those three options. Sports mode, winter mode, and um, normal mode. And apparently sports mode just gives you better shifting points so you can really give her out of the line. Normal mode is just basic, you know, drive a car, sports is give her out the line. And winter changes the dynamics of the shifting points, and I don't know if it does anything with the wipers. But if it does, then GM's already have the technology, and they're just bogarting it for their best damn model cars out there, and that's not right. Like, this is a safety thing now. Personally, it's a safety thing. To me, it's a safety thing. It'd be a great safety thing to have, and a great thing to not have to replace your wipers every time you forget to leave it down, they freeze to the window, you forget you turn them on and rip the rubbers right off the damn things. Oh my god, my fish looks so good. I gotta clean the window on this thing. So that was just one of the things rolling through my mind about uh, nonsense and bullshit. 
It's like I saw that and I'm like, why don't they do that still? How come this is not proper technology that we're still doing, you know? But the Subaru didn't, that Subaru didn't do too good because I don't know why. Just people didn't really like it that much. But it was an all wheel drive and it was a nice looking car. It was just really weird because it had like the DeLorean half windows to it and stuff like that. So maybe it was just too ahead of his time probably. Who knows? Well, that doesn't look too bad. That looks pretty good actually. It's been a bit, still not done. Son of a bitch. Coming in here, and this little thing what? was up on the counter. Yeah, so? I caught her on the camera. Yeah, I hit, wait, what? Multiple freaking times. What? What are you doing? I wouldn't it smell good up there. I don't care if it smells good. You're not allowed up there. Oh, I know. Then why do you go up there? Because it, I don't care if I get in trouble. And you don't care if you get in trouble? Nope, not one bit. Well, that's nice. Yep. Gotta love it when you're... Your cravings beat your freaking, uh, your, 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 your morales, you know? Like, you morally know you're not supposed to do something, but the punishment is worth the, uh, <laughs> the temptations, I guess. Uh, animals are dicks sometimes. Well, the bell just went off before I turned off the camera. Well, as I was turning off the camera, the, uh, slow cooker went off the rice cooker. So I went ahead and made myself a plate. There we have it. Some tilapia, some veg. Some rice. Let's go bang this into us. Okay, so it's a little after midnight now, and I'm gonna come down here and do some cleaning up. I wanna get rid of some of the boxes out of this room and some other junk. Probably gonna turn on the TV, kick on some Netflix. And I was thinking about my wireless problem. Oh, I haven't even told you guys about that yet. Um, the wireless router they give you with Bell Fiber Op. It's a real piece of shit. Uh, on a wired connection, I do a speed test. I'm pulling 50 down, 30 up all the time. It varies. Sometimes it's 49, 28, and sometimes it's 52, 31. But it's always on mark. And then you go over Wi-Fi and do a speed test. And you're getting like four down, two up. And it's okay. I understand wireless is not gigabit. It's only 300 megabit, but when the router is sitting in the room that I sleep in and the wireless computer, what are you guys doing? Leave the garbage bag alone. But, um, you know, the router's sitting in the room that I'm sleeping in and just right through the wall that has no insulation is the laptop. It should just be flowing good, right? You'd think that, but it's not. So I'm thinking about buying one of those wireless range extenders because uh, we just discovered something the other night. Logie and I are playing video games on Steam, and he told me, he's like, dude, why don't you uh, use the new Steam feature and watch me play my game? And I was like, oh, okay, because we didn't feel like playing games together, he was playing a different one. So we did that, and I watched him play his game. I'm like, that's pretty cool. And then I noticed on my computer, when I checked out my library, because I just installed Steam onto another computer, uh, the computer was saying, on all the games I had installed on my gaming rig, on my main rig, were saying stream, 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 stream. I'm like, what the hell is this streaming shit? So I decided to click on one. I loaded up uh, Just Cause 2 and streamed it to my computer. So it was playing it off the XPS 8300, streaming it through the, the network to my XPS 9000. It was so freaking awesome. It was like, I'm watching it play on the XPS. Like it's actually loaded the game on the XPS 8300 and it's playing it there but everything's happening on my computer as well. Like it was just freaking hilariously awesome. So now my big question is, is does it require certain hardware configurations to pull that off? Or will this dirty old friggin' M1100 be able to stream some Steam games? I don't know. So I'm probably gonna try that and see if it can do it. Mind you, gaming from this area here, hunched over the coffee table with a shitty Next Tech mouse and a shitty Next Tech keyboard might not be ideal. But, you know, I can always grab my Xbox controller, hook it up to this thing, and uh, play certain console like PC games streaming. But really, I just want to see if it works. Like, because this thing here has got what? Uh, the video card is an ATI 6450. The uh, processor is a 2 gigahertz dual core. And it's got 3 gigs of RAM because it's a 32 bit processor that wants to be 64, but just didn't quite make it. Anyway, my objective is to clean up. Uh, Basically those boxes and junk on the floor and stuff and tag it and bag it and then get the garbage out of the kitchen, tag it and bag it and clean all the garbage cans out and then just fire this fucker into the garage until garbage day and fire it out to the road. So while I'm doing that, I'm going to go ahead and put some Netflix on or something and give her. 
Alrighty, I got rid of all the boxes and other nonsense and moved the vacuums back into the corner. The red job made back there, that's going in the garage. I'm just going to shut off the TV because I'm going to head upstairs. Red job made I'm going to bring outside, use it in the garage to clean up things and vacuum out the car in the spring and all that shit. And this one here is going to become the new house vac. It works the best. Should probably use it tonight, but fuck it. Not feeling it, boys. And I also did a bunch of dishes. Bunch of dishes. Basically transporting them out of the sink into the bathroom, cleaning them in the friggin' tub, and then putting them back in the uh, drip dryer, and then putting them away. We got all paper plates and all that shit to use now, so friggin' why bother? And uh, I threw the bag of garbage outside, so we're good. But tomorrow I gotta be up early, because there's a guy coming over to see about a horse, and uh, I gotta be awake for him. So I think what I'm gonna do is shut the vlog down, go have a shower. And uh, get ready for bed, fall asleep, wake up, and then uh, deal with the uh, company showing up tomorrow. And then if there's time afterwards, I might start vlogging again. I don't know. But I won't be vlogging while the company is here. Just saying. But anyway, people, there you go. That's my vlog for today. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Uh, let me know what you think about cars. And if winter options should be put on regardless. Or if you think it's even a good idea to have the wipers move up. A couple centimeters just to sit where the heater blasts in the winter. Uh, what else did we talk about? Oh yeah, and let me know if you ever had to try to quit your plenty of fish and if my technique worked for you. But there you go, people. There's my vlog for the day. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, go ahead and give her a like button click. You know, I really appreciate you guys watching. Uh, what else did I want to say? Oh yeah, leave a comment for commenting on comments. You never know. You could be on there. And I could answer you in real time, sort of. And on that note, people, until next time, keep on vlogging.